We begin with news out of the Midwest. Recently, they have faced a record number of storms, and it looks like it's only about to get worse. Breaking overnight, get out. Emergency evacuations and dramatic rescues after heavy flooding hits the Midwest and the South. Since the tornado threat began here on Saturday, there have been 133 reported tornadoes, more than 30 just in the last 24 hours. Over 130 tornadoes in five days. That is terrifying. Oh, mostly because tornadoes are the worst natural disaster. Like, they're super destructive, and it feels like they make it personal, you know? <laughs> no, because, like, hurricanes and floods affect entire regions. A tornado just wants your house. <laughs> just flies in, like, wow! And then you're like, what about my neighbor? No, no. <laughs> and look, when you see this many tornadoes in this amount of time, you have to ask yourself if this is part of climate change. Because today, just today, a new climate report came out saying that things are getting worse. Sea levels could rise by six feet by the end of the century, which means cities like New York and Miami could be underwater. Yeah, it's really bad news. Statistically, the only person that will survive that is Shaq. That's it. <laughs> Just him by himself. Yeah. <laughs> He'd be like, I know the whole world died, but the fact that Charles Barkley is gone made it all worth it. <laughs> Climate change. For two years, Americans have been begging President Trump and his administration to take it seriously. Just take climate change seriously. And yesterday, the White House finally announced that it will create a special panel to do the opposites. A climate change skeptic will lead a White House panel to examine climate change. The Washington Post reports the proposed commission will be led by this man, William Happer. He's on the National Security Council, and he believes that carbon emissions linked to climate change should be viewed as an asset rather than a pollutant. And that's not all. Listen to this. The demonization of carbon dioxide is just like the demonization of the poor Jews under Hitler. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Trump is trolling us, right? This can't be real. <laughs> How is this guy on Earth, much less leading a White House climate change panel? He just said that going after climate dioxide is the same as Hitler going after the Jews. And he said it with a straight face. At least I think it was a straight face. It's hard to tell <laughs> since... No, his face looks like he removed his own skin and then tried to put it back on really quickly. I don't even know <laughs> what's going on there. Like, only the Trump administration would find a guy who is pro-carbon dioxide to lead a climate change panel. Like, who else is on this panel? A, a farting cow and an actual oil spill? Get the out of here, man. More and more Americans are putting pressure on their government to break away from fossil fuels. And the government's counterproposal is, well, what if we just call it something else? U.S. Energy Department officials have called the country's natural gas exports molecules of freedom being shipped to the world. The phrase, it came, in fact, in a press release announcing the expansion of a facility in Texas that produces liquefied natural gas, which they also called, quote, freedom gas. Yeah! That's America right there. It's not liquid gas. It's freedom gas! That's so next level. You can't just change the name of liquefied natural gas to freedom gas. All right, that's already what Mike Pence calls the president's farts, okay? <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, yes, Mr. Trump, sir. Thank you for another sweet breath of freedom gas. <laughs> you know... You know what I love about American politics? Is that whenever someone in the opposing party says something, there's this weird thing where you immediately have to take the exact opposite position. Ocasio-Cortez says that cow farting contributes to climate change, which is true, by the way. It's true. And all of a sudden, Fox News is like, cow farts are the smell of freedom, okay? <laughs> Every time a cow farts, George Washington gives me a thumbs up from the grave. <laughs> And look, there are legitimate concerns about the Green New Deal. You can ask questions like, how are you gonna pay for it? Can it actually get done that quickly? Can we really replace coal with the electricity between Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga? <laughs> Is it feasible? <laughs> there are enough real questions about the Green New Deal for conservatives to take issue with, but I guess it's more fun to just scare America into thinking it's about to become a vegan North Korea. Yeah! <laughs> because obviously, the Green New Deal doesn't ban meat or dairy, or air travel, or cars, right? You'd still be free to eat your steak-flavored ice cream on your private jet. <laughs> what Ocasio-Cortez wants to do is invest in alternatives that are better for the Earth. Like, wherever it makes sense to replace air travel 
with high-speed rail, we should do that. And honestly, why would you be against that? Who's that one guy who would be like, but if we don't use planes, how will I take a shit in a bathroom that's only two inches larger than my body, huh? <laughs> this is an outrage. <laughs>